We think one of the really useful features in the current version of Open Dental are the patient dashboards. And Linda pointed out when we started playing with these a little bit, oh look, this can become a digital routing slip. Well, duh, how come I didn't think of that? But she's absolutely right. And so it kind of allowed us to look at this in a little bit different way. So in the first video that I did, uh, we talked about some of the advantages of the patient dashboard. But since then, we've worked with it a little bit more, particularly trying to set it up as a patient routing slip. So when I want to use a dashboard, I go to Tools and then Patient Dashboards, and now I can select any of these. So this is the, one of the default ones that Open Dental gives you, and it's got some information in there, but I'd really like to have more information if I'm going to use this as a routing slip. So I've created three other dashboards in here, which you can download from our website, and they're free. Um, I've got one here which I really jammed a lot of information in. Let me show you that one first. Now notice first of all how wide that patient dashboard is. I'm going to make it a lot wider because I want to put more information in there. There we go. Now you see that sucked up some of your screen size here for your, in this case, uh, for the appointment book. It's not too much of a problem. Uh, in the other modules because you've not, you kind of had a lot of wasted space over there. But in the appointment book, this potentially being this wide could crowd your operatory views a little bit. And so you might want to use another view. The nice thing about Open Dental is you can have as many different views uh, as you want and you can have a different view on each workstation. So in this case, I've got the full view. I'm going to come back and talk about the things that we put in here in just a second. But if you say, hey, listen, I'm working at the front desk and I need a little bit more on my appointment book. Okay, you can go to Tools again, go down here to Dashboard, and this time we'll pick the Admin view. So watch what happens to the width. It got a lot narrower. But I had to leave a lot of things off. I left some of the clinical stuff, uh, particularly about the recalls, off of there. I made the tooth chart smaller. Uh, again, you're kind of limited to what you can put in here. So there is an admin view. I still got all the account information in here because that's probably going to be the most useful uh, for the admin. Okay, so how about back in the operatory? I can go in here and I can look at the operatory view. It's a little bit narrower uh, and it has more clinical information, particularly about recalls in here. I'm going to come back and talk about these different things in just a second. So I have three different views in there. And again, you can use whichever one you want. You can modify these and I'll show you how to install them and modify them in another video. So let's go back to my favorite view, the full. And let me tell you what some of these things mean in here and why I chose these particular things. Now, just like on your routing slip, you can put anything that you want in here. The nice thing about this is it updates. So if somebody up at the front desk puts Donald's email in here, then it will update on the dashboard in the back. So that's kind of nice. And if you make a change back here, you can also update it on yours. So this is displaying pretty current information. Now, our mantra says that before the patient leaves the office, you need to collect the email, cell phone, and referral source, and you need to make sure Donald makes his next appointment, and you need to collect the patient portion. Okay, this is what the routing slip is for here. So if we start right at the top, we see Donald doesn't have his next appointment. He also doesn't have a recall scheduled. Okay, he could have a next appointment, but not a recall. If we go down here, we see we got his cell phone. That's good. That's one of the things that we want to collect. We don't have his email, though. So if I'm the hygienist, for example, can I put the email in there? I hope so. Pretty easy to do. Whoever's looking at this routing slip can say, yeah, hey, let me put your email in real quickly. I uh, go down. I do have a referral source. That's good. If I jump down here... I can say, now, Donald, I'm working, I'm talking to Donald. We just seated him in the chair. This is happening in the back, either the chair side or, or the hygienist. Say, Donald, you still have Physicians Mutual and the secondary insurance is Delta Dental. Is that right? And Donald says, yeah, that's right. You still live at 345 Estadillo. Yeah, that's right. 
So we're just verifying this information. If something needs to be changed, we can change it on the fly here. You can't do that with a paper routing slip. So working down a little bit more here, we see other family members that are due for recalls. That's really, really important. You notice I've got kind of funny looking recalls because it says Invisalign aligners are here. That's because I've hijacked the open dental recall system because all I do is Invisalign, so I, I've got different recalls. But yours will say Profi or Perio Maintenance or whatever in there. These are other family members. We want to try and get these people back in the office. So, Donald, do you want to schedule the appointment for Dewey? I see he's overdue for his recall. So, again, this is going to help just like a routing slip, paper routing slip. This can help generate... Uh, new busyness for the office. The recall information is down here. That's not quite so important because if you're scheduling your recalls correctly in Open Dental using this recall button over here, then all that information will translate into procedures that are automatically put into the next appointment. So again, these are not quite so important if you're using Open Dental correctly, but if you're not using that particular feature, these are still pretty useful. And the last thing down here is this ADT. What does ADT stand for? Amount due today. Okay, if you're the person the day before going through your routing slips, in this case the digital routing slips, and how much do you want Donald to bring in? Well, we made financial arrangements with Donald that said he was going to pay $456 um, at this next appointment. Where do I change that? Okay, this, this is a little convoluted. But I have to go to chart. I have to go down to the pink section. I have to go to medical information and it's right over here in service notes. So whatever you put in here, new number in there, and say OK, it will update here. Sometimes it doesn't update that fast. So we just made it easy for anybody to make sure that we get all five things in our mantra. We schedule his next appointment, we collect the amount due today, and we have his cell phone, email, and referral source in here. So you collect those five pieces of information and your practice will work a whole lot better. Now we also have some other information over here because we want to try and get these guys scheduled. So I'm the chair side. And looking at this before the doctor comes in, say, you know, Donald, you've got these other, this other treatment that you need to have done in here. Your doctor's made a planned appointment for you. Would you like me to schedule that for you? Or, or how about this treatment down here? Maybe the doctor didn't get around to doing a planned appointment yet, but we can see he's got treatment down here. Donald, would you like me to schedule this for you? So take the opportunity while you're sitting there with Donald for just a second uh, to talk about pending treatment. Over here, this is more for the front desk. Now, I realize that we've got the insurance over here, the primary insurance and secondary insurance, and it was also over here. Because I think everybody is looking at this column, but it's really the admin people that are looking over here. And the point I wanted to make was that he has Physicians Mutual as his primary insurance, but he's got a MetLife fee schedule. This happens all the time. And this is going to really screw things up in your office. You've got to make sure that the fee schedule matches the insurance. And we can only do this with primary because we don't have enough merge fields from Open Dental yet. But at least get this one in there correctly. So we've got some other account information in, down here, including his estimated balance, the family estimated balance after the insurance pays. But we've also got the total balance up here. So again, this is kind of accounting information. This is information for everybody else. That's the full version. If we go into the narrower version, the front desk, I've got a little tiny tooth chart because you're probably not going to use that quite so much. I've moved over the accounting information here, but I still have the treatment plans because I want people talking to Donald about his pending treatment. And I still have this information up here, and I still have the amount due today down there. Let's go look. That mean old doctor won't buy me a big monitor. I'm back in the operatory, so I'm going to have to use the operatory skinny view there. And I'm looking at different things. I don't have any accounting information in here, but I do have the recall information. I have the amount due today, and I have the pending treatment. 
So this can certainly replace your paper routing slip. People have asked for a long while, how do we do an all digital paperless routing slip? Well, now you got it. So play with this, it's really very useful. In the next video, I'll show you how to install these that I've created and also a little bit about how to modify them. But this is a very useful feature, I think, in Open Dental. As I mentioned, you can download the sheets on our website page here, uh, todaysdentalconsulting.com forward slash and then patient dash dashboard. And that has the videos and also has the link to the downloads for these three sheets I mentioned.